Welcome to the BHB headquarters in South West London. My name is William Hudmont, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Car Competition Week 22, which ran from May the 29th to the 4th of June. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Pete Donanici, who won the fantastic Aston Martin Vantage V8S. Um, and you can see him, us uh, surprising him both on our website and YouTube channel, and he's now very excitedly choosing his specification. I'd now like to hand over to Chanel Shaw from Onside Law, who will be overseeing proceedings today. Thank you. My name is Chanel Shaw, I'm a solicitor at Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Hugh Gilroy. Morning, Chanel. Morning. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, tutor, mentor, and observer. Thank you. White. Secondly, Mr. Peter Giorgio. Good morning. morning. Good morning, my name's Peter Giorgio. I am a senior AFA football and football referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Thirdly, Mr. Alan Gomer. Morning. morning. Good morning, my name is Alan Gomer. I'm an ex professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint Germain, Newcastle, and Fulham. Purple. Fourthly, Mr. Matthew Ray. Hello, I'm Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England and a referee from grassroots through to professional academies. Blue. Next, Mr. Trevor Weaver. Morning. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for over 30 years and I also mentor newly qualified referees. Green card. Sixth judge is Mr. Ari Mendonca. Morning, Shannon. Morning. Morning. Uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I'm an ex -football, football player, now referee for the last 15 years. Yellow. And finally, Mr. Leo Donnellan. Morning. Good morning. My name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton. Red. Okay judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. Matthew, please could you justify your position? Yeah, so mine is the blue cross. Um, I've looked at the player in orange and this player on the bottom in white. His two eyes quite clearly looking upwards and to my right. Um, I've aligned his view with the view of the player in orange. Um, I think there's a lot of depth uh, to the photo. Ball's maybe coming in, it's a glancing header or maybe he's just played it. Uh, I don't think it's too far away um, and that's why I've placed the cross where I have done. And Leo, please could you explain how you've come to your position? Yeah, mine is the Red Cross. Um, there's four players in the shot, but I've gauged it predominantly from the player in white and obviously the player in yellow. Uh, the player in white is looking directly above, um, so I've gauged my cross from that. Um, also the player in, in yellow, obviously he's going to head the ball. I'm looking at his, his body shape, he's, he's at the top of his jump. So and I believe the ball is just going to come into him just a touch and he's going to head the ball. So gauging both their eye lines is why I decided to put my red cross there. Ari, please could you explain how you've come to your possession? Yes, uh, the player in, in, in yellow, he's on, on, on top of his uh, jump. I think he's about to flick the ball or this direction, he's looking at the ball. Um, then I used uh, the eyes of these two players uh, over there. Uh, I believe this player, he was, by his facial expression, he was Thinking in jumping, jumping as well, but the player in yellow got, got that got that first. They are both looking at at uh, at, at the ball. 
So and then I just cross reference with the with the with the eyeline of the player in yellow to place my 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 dot. Trevor, please could you justify your position? Yes, um, my cross is the green cross, slightly higher um, where I than my colleagues here. Although probably it's only a six inches or so in real life, but looking at the shape of his forehead there, the, the angle of his head, gone with my colleagues with the eyes, which I believe are slightly more to the right, and cross-referencing those is how I reach that position. Peter, please could you explain how you've come to your position? Yeah, I think it's quite obvious the player in the black and uh, yellow is winning the ball at the top of his jump. Uh, my uh, centre of the ball is the orange uh, cross, uh, probably the lowest of all of them. And why I've come to that is I've used the eye line. <coughs> I think, I think he's, he's actually looking across there, so therefore centre of the ball is going to be slightly higher, uh, of, uh, just just at the same level, just above his, his eyebrow. And what I've also done is used the the angle of the uh, eyes down here, the cross-reference, and that's where I put the centre of the, uh, the ball. And Alan, please could you explain how you've come to your position? Yes, so my cross is the, the purple one. I think we are in a, uh, it's probably a, a, a set piece, uh, uh, so maybe a, a corner kick or a free kick coming from here. Uh, looking at the position of the player in white, uh, it looks like they're, they're marking in zone and the player in orange is anticipating on the first post. Uh, obviously he's going to head the ball, or maybe he had headed the ball already. Um, so I used mainly his eyes, you know, to determine the distance between the ball and this player. And I think he's about to head it all, as I said, you know. So I think he's level with his forehead. And uh, so I cross-reference, sorry, both uh, his forehead and uh, his eye line. That's why I chose the, this point. And Hugh, please could you justify your position? Yeah, so uh, I agree with my colleagues that I think he's at the top of his jump, the player in orange. He's about to head the ball, I think. It's very close to him. Um, I've gone in line with his forehead. I think his eyes are looking up slightly, but he's not craning his neck back too much. So I do think it's close to him and not, not very much higher. I've used the player in white eye line and that's where I've put my cross. OK, judges, please could you now come to a panel decision on the central screen? Right. So we're all very close together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's try and find an average to start with. Well, I suppose. I think probably on the height of the weight. Right, one well, yeah. is, is, is probably a good start. Where's that Which? in relation to this kind of dark, dark black blob? Yeah. It's a it's bit higher than that. Um, I think it's that way. So it's a little bit his forehead. Little, up a little bit. Uh, right, yeah. Little bit like what I said, yeah. Right. I think we're too far to the left, actually. Yes, like yeah. to the right. Yeah, yeah. 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 right. Between the, yes, so between the yellow and the blue. Going straight up. It's so almost yeah, in the edge of, of that yeah. of that line of there. Okay, so I'm kind of cross that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. Uh, yeah. Now, I mean, it's so we're so close. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've gone slightly lower because I think his his eye line is lower than the rest of you guys. Um, yeah, but it's. It's forward that I've it's got head more. Head. Yeah, so then, and, then, back, yeah. Then, and then what I've then done is then place the ball, oh. the centre of the ball above his eye line where he's, he's I think just about to hit the ball. So I'm, that's, that's my theory. That's, yeah, yeah, that's my theory. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's the same line with his forehead, yeah, isn't it? Is yeah, that's the way you get expecting it to play it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think the ball's got to be coming in that way as well. Is it? Yeah. Is it a tad higher or not? I mean, we well, think slower. But are, are we in the middle? So there's probably what Matthew, I mean, Trevor, Ari, Leo slightly yeah. higher. 
I think that's a good average though. I so, don't it, think. I mean, we're so in a bunch there, it's very hard to. Are you happy with that? Because you're, you're higher. You're yeah, higher. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it because, I mean, as long as we are inside the cluster, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, more or less, I would have said it was like the top of, of uh, Allen's cross there. Okay. Which I think is, I mean, uh, do we. Allen's a purple one, no, it's yeah. going to be the average. It's got to take be above that top. Slightly, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Above, yeah, I'm taking about the, the top of the yeah, cross, yeah, in line with this forehead. Probably could go a little bit just higher, just slightly. So no, not just like slightly no. like that. Are we not seeing high? The thing is, you know, if you put it as no, a, yeah. I think that's. If it's I mean, higher, he would have had it, you know, with the top yeah. of his yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. it's coming into Are we happy with the left to right then? Uh, are, we, are we enough left to right? Is it is it's slightly a touch to the right? I've got that. I think it's of, are we okay? I mean, straight, straight up. Straight, yeah. That's straight. And it's almost touching his sleeve there. Because we've got a bigger spread. Oh, the left to right then actually. Yeah, that's right. A bit like it's just off the edge of that so sleeve, slightly, right slightly, yeah. right. just slightly, very slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. 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 One eight three six four seven two. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.